She broke down crying, telling me she loved me and she was so sorry. She tried to hug me and I backed away and looked at her like she was a fucking crazy and she started crying even louder and it was starting to become a bit of a scene. Yo, I got a story for y'all today. So, it is a pretty intense story of how a boyfriend got revenge on his cheating girlfriend. And yeah, the, the, the way he plotted the revenge was kind of, I don't know, a bit overboard, right? So, let's hear the story and if you think it was a bit overboard or not. So, let's start off with it. Uh, if you could like get this video early thumbs up, greatly appreciate the support. Let's get in with the story. This dilemma has caused a massive blowout in our friends group and I am conflicted as some people are telling me I went too far. While other things what I did was perfectly be perfectly reasonable in terms of revenge. So he is a 23 year old uh, male recently found out uh, his girlfriend, a 26-year-old female, almost three years in relationship, cheated on him. She was in the shower one night, and I saw a text pop out on her phone from Verizon that said, Can't wait to see you, babe. This immediately alarmed me, and while she was still in the shower, I snooped through her messages on her computer, which she luckily left unlocked. I found out that she been going behind my back for a few months and lie about going on girls' nights and staying at staying late at work to spend time with this guy. All right, why would <laughs> you name that guy Verizon? Like you know the Verizon uh, uh, cell phone service It's kind of weird, and yeah, like I'm glad like see then I hide the messages. You know whenever. And the phone, you can hide the pop-out notifications. It will just say messages instead of showing all the messages uh, without like any uh, blocking, which is good, right? That might be a mistake on her end, which that's how she, uh, he found out about it. So in any relationship, I feel like the boyfriend and girlfriend should share the phone. You can look at the phone anytime, anywhere you want. There should be no secrets. That's how you like it. Three years, I just don't know how long they've been together, you know? Let's keep reading. According to her tech, it seems she saw me as a walking ATM. I am a software engineer and she worked part-time as a barista. And this guy was the one she was truly in love with. I was seeing red so bad after I read through the messages, but I kept my cool and told over what to do with my friend. One of my friend, Ashley, she's a 22-year-old female, Suggest that we crash her date. So when the day came after my girlfriend left for a girls' night at a bar and the next town over and asked and I Uber over an hour later. Uh oh. Uh oh. So yeah, I don't know how that would turn out right there. Are they gonna get a fist fight? What are they gonna do? Hopefully he didn't like make it like a beast big scene, like throw tables or throw punches at the boy uh, the boyfriend. Let's see what happened. When we got there, I saw her with the guy towards the back of the place with her back turned, so she didn't see us immediately. Ashley and I decided to get some drinks and, and us before I went to confront her because I was just feeling like shit and super anxious from pretty much confronting my worst fears. It then helped that Ashley and I smoke a massive blunt before going into the bar. <laughs> oh my god. So Ashley is probably like the girl, that wild girl always had the wild like ideas. And yeah, yeah, that could put, probably be Ashley's idea. So Ashley and I sit at the table absolutely jogging down at an alarming rate. After like an hour, we were both having a great time and ha I had pretty much accepted the fact that my girlfriend sucked and I don't care because I was violently intoxicated. So he was really, really hard, hard right? But they just drinking the pain away. But at the same time, it's kind of like a weird feeling because she is in the bar, same bar with you. Eventually, after probably about another hour, I saw my girlfriend and her boyfriend walking towards the door. When she got close to our table, I made direct eye contact. 
with her, and she looked like she seemed a ghost. I wonder her, what's her face. Did her like ghost left her body, or did her face turn white? Like she probably did not expect to see her actual boyfriend at the bar. I confronted her and told her our relationship was obviously over and to never come back to my apartment again. She broke down crying, telling me she loved me and she was so sorry. She tried to hug me and I backed away and looked at her like she was a fucking crazy and she started crying even louder and it was starting to become a bit of a scene. So I can imagine like everybody looking at her and she just crying and he kind of humiliated her. While she was blubbering trying to talk to me, I saw the guy she was cheating on me with slip out the front. So the guy just left. She said that she is the one, but she just left. He just left her. I quickly paid the tab for Ashley and then got out of there too. So, so here's the thing, right? Okay, here's what the scene gonna look like. A girl nailed down on the floor, right? Crying her tears out. And the guy, the, the boyfriend that uh, he is cheating on also left. And the actual boyfriend that he she been with for three years left the bar too so it's just her and probably they took like a massive bill too a lot of emotional damage right there a lot of emotional damage apparently after we left it got even worse because she tried to pay for the drinks on the debit card linked to my bank that i froze a couple days ago in preparation for the invitable breakup and the bar threatened to call the cops on her and bang her when she couldn't pay the tab. Uh oh. Kind of sucks the 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 boyfriend that uh, she cheating on left her too. I mean, that guy was not loyal at all. Like she was saying, he is the one and stuff. Some of my friends are saying this is too far, and I soon have publicly publicly humiliated her like this, and I still have quietly broken up with her. However, I only really planned to confront her as far as I knew. She just literally saw me as a walking ATM, so I was just confused as to why she cried and pretend to care when she got caught. Yeah, I, I kind of give it to him for like canceling the debit card in advance because she, he is like prepared for that like way in advance. Um, I I kind of kind of get his point too. Like she just saw him as a walking ATM. That is the most hurtful thing that she could say. Like, if I was a girl and I and I had a guy that is caring, and also like, uh, makes really good money, but not that good looking, I am totally fine. Like you get a very comfortable life, a trustworthy guy that doesn't go out get girls, right, and a guy that will build a family with you. And she worked as a barista, right? Does not make any money as a software engineer. I don't know why she kind of just fumbled the bag. She could have secured the bag and kind of live in a big fancy house. And drive a nice car because software engineers, they can make a lot of money. Yeah, I don't think like he was being too harsh because the original plan was just confront her saying that, Hey, we are done here. Three years. Just down the drain. How could you do this to me? Like just something like that. See, he didn't really throw the table. Didn't really kick the chairs or throw like a bottle of drink. All he did was stare at her and say that we are done. Don't ever come back to my apartment. And she was just, you know, kind of in shock. You know, what was he expect? Like, was he expect like a happy ending or something? While you cheated on someone? Like karma gonna come out to you, right? Hopefully... You never cheat on people, right? That is the worst thing you can do. Stay royal, you know, and don't ever try to cheat and you will have a happy ending in your life. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. My name is Kelvin and I'll see you guys next video.